Hi guys, this is a, a tracer valve for a Mimic um, hydraulic tracer for my lathe. You know, it's it, when I I bought the uh, the Mimic tracer used, and um, it was running. You know, it was working. I never really had it set up, and I had a job come in, and I needed to set it up, and uh, this tracer valve stopped working. And um, I can show you uh, what I found that seems, and I'm not even sure if I fixed it yet. I still got to reconnect it. Now, these things are supposedly not serviceable by the average Joe. And um, I came out, you know, I decided what have I got to lose? They want $1,500 for a new one just for the valve. So let me show you. There's a. There's a thing here, it's called stylus pressure, um, and by turning this, it lowers and raises that. Now that was all corroded and it was seized in the down position, um, which I think was preventing the, um, the hydraulic flow to go back and forth. This actually has a stylus right here on the bottom and you can set the pressure on this to you know to be light or heavy and um, these two go out to the cylinder on the tracer and uh, on this side here you have the pressure and the return and then there's another there's a drain here I guess there's some internal leakage that this just drains out so that goes i don't know why they bring it out this way but anyway instead of bringing it into the return line but it goes back out to the tank too um and uh so that so that's the deal but anyway getting back to this this part here was seized up and there's a if anybody has one of these mimics that's the first thing I would check because that was all corroded it wasn't moving it was seized right in there and the way to get at that is there's a little allen screw right in there and there's a pin and that pin holds this in there this little dial this little dial has an eccentric on it I don't know if you can see that it has an eccentric on it that uppers that uppers ups ups and downs the uh that's it's kind of like a pressure it's a pressure sensing it's it's called stylus pressure now so that was seized in the down uh position which was uh which was low the low pressure um the stylus had no move I, I shouldn't say had no movement it had sloppy movement it's like there, it was not pressurized and there was a lot of corrosion down in that hole i took that all apart i you know i um ran scotch bride in there and this is kind of like a spool it's got some springs on it and it pushes down for lack of a better term kind of like a pressure relief so it allows more pressure or less pressure in it the other thing you know, I didn't take this completely apart because, you know, I was afraid. I didn't, didn't want to ruin it either. At the same time, I wanted it to work. Um, there's another screw over here. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, right there. And it's kind of the same deal. It's got a, a rod that kind of locates um, right in there. There's, there's like a rod that goes in there and that also has an eccentric on it and that's for uh the, the feed rate slow feed or fast feed for the hydraulic cylinder and um that was a little wonky too so i took both of those out i cleaned this thing all out i pulled all these these here off um there's a couple on this side too there's some screens in there i blew all those out i um I blew WD-40 and uh, and master uh, PB blaster in there just to 
try and loosen this thing up it doesn't seem like there's any kind of rubber seals in here it seems to be all metal on metal inside which is probably why they have this drain valve over here um, you know because there's probably some bypass leakage and and rather than have it all flowing out on the floor or going back into the return I guess it goes into a non pressurized area and it just leaks back out into the reservoir um, and you can see over here, there's a D. I don't know if you can see that on the uh, casting there. Well, it's not a casting, it's a solid block, but there's a D there and there's a D there. I guess it. Um, you can swap these drains out. This one just has an air port on it just to let air in so this drains out. But I guess if you have the valve mounted upside down the other way, um, you could reverse, reverse these ports, put the vent, you know, down here and this up there. Um, you want, you want the drain to be on the low side, obviously. Um, so anyway, um, that's what I did. I'm going to hook this back up and I'm going to make another video and uh, see if, she, if I got her working.